What's up, y'all? If you tuned in, you tuned in to another episode of That Up Maggie, starring our favorite. But before we get into all that, Let don't me... forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell so you'll be notified every time I drop something new. I've been c trying to drop new stuff, trying to be consistent. I have a pile of videos. And if, if you feel like if this is a week you feel like I'm bombarding everybody with videos, guess what? I am. So uh, we're trying to get this algorithm up. So, you know, make sure you like to drop a comment if you like the stuff you're seeing. Because usually I, I be doing this snack crate. I've been doing fast foods. I want to do an outdoor run before it gets too, uh, before it gets cold, man. I, you know, last summer I did a whole bunch of day paintings and did this, did that ran around interviewed this dude did this but this year it seemed like i kind of just didn't have the the cojones i think it was because you know i was slipping i was slipping like i said but we're not going to get into that we're, we got a we got a new snack crate today we have a new snack crate and um this one says chow 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 i believe chow could be a a word used to say goodbye or hello in italy but i don't know what it is i kind of know what it is he knows what it is but you know we're, we're gonna check this snack crate out this is an italian snack crate i i was doing a i was actually cleaning snack crate boxes you know getting rid of all the stuff that i don't use and i open up this box and i'm like have i ever done italy and then i asked my best friend here did i ever do italy and he was like, no, you ain't never did Italy. So, far and behold, let's do Italy. Italy, Italy. And so this is Italy, okay? This isn't, this isn't an uh, island of Italy or anything. This is Italy. And we, we most know Italy because of the canals, because of the gondolas, the blah, blah, blah. The love that they have. I see a lot of people going on vacation to Italy. And I'm not sure, but I think Michael's just went to Italy. I'm not sure, but we'll see. But this is in Italy. And Italy is known for a lot for its pizza. I want to say it's it's Italian dishes and, and stuff like that. You know, and it, it just seems like a different type of place, you know. And I, I don't know if I could live in a foreign place like that because I see a lot of like bodegas and shops and I'm sure there's shops in Italy and like London and like, do they close early? Can you go get a, you know, can you go get a 40 ounce if you want one later at night? You know, or if you want a beer or if you want anything? I don't know, man. But let's check out to see what we got in this Italian box. And I'll show you. Boom. Italy snack crate so we have some uh, some sort of chips or something I have another bag of like crisps chips we'll see I was expecting more like chocolate some sort of pizza flavored things pizza flavors um, some sort of chocolate like a thin chocolate uh some sort of other thing a duplo i want to say that's like i i know that label from somewhere i want to say this is like a kit kat but an italian flavor pretty sick pretty sick let's see what else we got oh we got some chocolate wafers those are definitely some of my favorites favoritos oh a tronky i think i've heard of those before a tronky give me a tronky mate maybe not a rice crispy pudding or not rice crispy pudding but some sort of thing like that some sort of um like uh candy canes are what we call them here but they're like chewy type of things there that was it. Jeez. I'm gonna show you the thing. Go ahead and check the check the intro. Mm -hmm. 
All right, bet that up. You saw those. We're going to try the Fonzies. Fonzies. See what kind of chips these are. Oh, they're not chips. They're Fritos or Cheetos with, mm, with white cheese. Damn. Those are actually good. Man. I bet you they're even better there. Ah, clear the palate. Only two bags of chips in this one. I'm kind of sad. This is the potato chip. Paprika. No. Oh. No. You know what those taste like? Those taste like the, the cheeseburger that's been sitting under a lettuce and a tomato for like all day. Not really that good. Let's try this pizza joint. Oh, they're like little crackers. Look, little crackers. Wow. They taste like something. Something I've had in jail. Weird. It's like a crunchy burnt pizza. Oh man. Mm. Let's try the tronky. The tronky. Hmm. That kind of rhymes with something. Donkey. Hmm. It's some real crisp. Mm. It's like a tamale for candy, but it doesn't taste like a tamale. It tastes like chocolate. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. I can imagine the rest of these rice cakes are going to taste like that. Here's what we're going to do these two, and then I'm going to call it because I don't know. Yep, it was like a Kit Kat. But it doesn't taste like a kick out. Tastes like a Kit Kat you get from Dollar General. It's almost a Kit Kat, but not quite the Kit or the Cat. Hmm. Italy, I thought would would be more chocolate. I'm surprised there was that much, that much dry in there. I don't know what this is supposed to be. This might have been a marshmallow at one point or some sort of something. Looked like it got beat up. Looks like an old shoe. Yep. Marshmallow. Hmm. Oh. That's good. That's good. Italy's a lot different than a lot of other ones. But the thing I'm starting to see that's like normal with all of these snack crates that just seems like it's, you know, just like a regular thing is the fact that they all kind of start tasting the same. Like it's a lot of the same kind of chocolate and the same kind of whatever. And there's like two bags of chips like with it. So it's like, it seems like every country has the same kind of snacky idea. You know, except for some other ones that I saw with like rice paper and all this other stuff. I haven't had a favorite country yet where I've been like, oh yeah. I'd like, to, you know, to be honest with you, Snack Crate, if you do watch this, I would really like to try an American box. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I want to see what you guys think are the best American snacks. 
And, you know, with everybody else in the comments, pin what kind of snacks you like. What kind of snacks do you eat at home? Like when you're chilled and you're hanging out with your significant other or you're playing video games or you're doing whatever. If you're, you know, like if you're solo or not solo, but like, you know, if you chill by yourself a lot, what, what kind of snacks do you like to indulge yourself with? Like me, I'm a big nacho dude. Like I'll go to 7-Eleven and I'll get nachos and I won't even eat them. I'll eat like two. But I will eat like, like symphony bars are good. I like anything with toffee. Heath is bomb. You know, stuff like that. You know, I, I really, I, I dig, I dig stuff like that. You know, so let me know what kind of snacks you like. What do you like? Do you, do you eat, do you, do we, do you eat M&Ms with like your popcorn or do you do things like that? Because I've heard people do that and I've tried it and it was, it was weird. Like the chocolate and the popcorn kind of was like, wow, that's kind of a trip. So, I don't know. Let me know what you kind of, what you guys do with your time and what you like to eat with and what do you guys do. Hell yeah. But, um, you know, if, uh, if anything's bothering you, you know, just don't be afraid to reach out to people to kind of, to kind of, you know, help you out. If you have somebody that help you, definitely, definitely utilize that. Don't let, don't let certain situations kind of eat you inside after the fact. Because all that does is just, you know, boil your blood and kind of make you sweat over something that you can't change. You know, and if it does happen, you know, just be like, hey, you know, work it out if you can. If not, you know, if it comes to fist to cuff, knuckles are always the best option, I would think. But if you don't want to do that, just, you know, kind of work on yourself. Kind of figure out what you could do to kind of, you know what I mean, smooth over the situation. But if not, like I said, whatever. But, you know, just be safe out there and always make the right decision. I want to thank you for spending a little bit of time with me today. Until we see each other again, you know what to do out there, baby. Be safe.